Shalom Aleichem, this is Brother Kobe. The Lord woke me up at 7 o'clock this morning with an awesome dream, guys. I, I, I had to go write it down. I had to share it with you. So forgive me. My shirt's inside out. I, I didn't get to finish my coffee yet. It's been thundering, guys. It's been thundering all night. Thunderstorm, lightning, it's all that today. Supposedly schools are closed. You may hear some noises, okay? I can't control that. This is my dream. There was a, a few uh, masculine men around me, and I was so happy that they were masculine. They, they weren't these little little beta men. <laughs> and uh, and I was showing these men my firearms. I opened the, my little gun cabinet, and I was handing off of this rifle here, this rifle there. Check it out. Look, I've done this type of work on it or whatever. Those who know me, I love firearms, guys. I, I work on my own stuff. I enjoy shooting. There's, there's, there's targets here. There's a target there. I got more in the house. I just, I just love it. It's my hobby. And I was showing them this, and then all of a sudden, we were surrounded. My whole house was surrounded by these, these agents, these officers. Uh, they didn't look like police officers in those kind of uniforms. It was more like a gray uniform. So I don't know. But, but they surrounded us. None of us... Locked and loaded and fired on them. None of us. Okay. Well, I wasn't even fearful. And so they rounded us up. I'm talking about families, women, children, and the men. And so we rounded up, arrested, and placed in this big old room. Now, there was these partial dividers I saw in this big room, and we all sat on the floor. These uh, officers, that's what I call them. I don't, they, uh, they wanted to interrogate us. But for some reason, all of a sudden, they exit the room. They left. I don't know why. Uh, I noticed the door was open that they left out of. It wasn't locked. It wasn't closed and locked. I don't know if they accidentally left it open or if God opened the door. And right then and there, I knew, I just knew, if we walk down, if we go through that door, holding hands and singing hymns, we was going to be okay. And that's what the people were doing. They were holding hands and singing hymns. And they were walking amongst the people. And the same officers that arrested us. And it was like. I don't believe the other people heard. Us singing. Like we were invisible or something. And for some reason. Uh, my wife didn't want to go. She was hesitant. She didn't want to go out that door. But this is the weird part. The part I don't understand. I don't. It could be symbolic. But in this dream, I knew this lady was my wife. But she did not look like my wife, guys. She was a uh, little older, more wrinkles. Uh, she looked almost more Asian or something. But in the dream, I knew she was my wife. And I took my left hand and I, can, and I grabbed her hand and I convinced her, let's go. So we went through the door and we were holding hands. She's on my left. And we started singing this, this song. Oh, how we love Jesus. And we're singing that. And nobody's looking at us. It's like we're blending in. Walking right by the, some of these officers and something. And God told me, it's just Kobe, I need you to go uh, preach to the prisoners. And somehow, somehow, they captured me. But my wife got to go free. I was, I was, I was relieved that she got to escape. And that was the end of the dream, guys. Uh, there was this other dream I had that, that confirms this invisible thing. Uh, a few, I had this dream a few years ago. Me and my boy, he had a broken leg or something. I was bringing him to a hospital. And uh, I'm walking in the hospital. And I see this nurse. She's like in, like in a World War II um, nurse outfit. And there's this tall, must be seven foot creature next to her. It was like a man, a Terminator. It, it was, it was like a, a hunter, like the movie Terminator. This thing was on guard at the hospital. It just kept scanning everybody. It, and I saw this nurse was checking the people's shoulders, and it looked like she had a uh, some type of a little stamp thing, about the size of a cigarette box, but maybe a little shorter. And she was looking at the shoulder. Now. Greek, when you see hand, is from fingertip to shoulder. I know people think it's going to be on the right hand. Could it be? It could, the mark could be on right here on the right hand, or it could be on the, up to the shoulder. But regardless, 
the dream is that she was looking at the shoulder. If they didn't have it, she was stacking them. And when I saw that, I was carrying my boy. I did about face, 180, and I ran. And this tall, seven foot something Terminator hunter thing, it came after us. And it didn't stop, guys. It didn't sleep. It never got tired. It just kept coming. At one point in the dream that uh, I was in a, a little cabin on the bayou, I live in Louisiana, and I was monitoring the cameras and I saw the black SUVs unmarked. And these, 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 these there's, there's agents. Guys, I'm going to be real with you. There are people looking out for you, okay? So if you're bragging that you're at 144,000 or you're annoying at this and that, they they watching you, okay? So me and others have seen this in dreams. There's a unit out there. They watching you. They watch these videos. Anyway, that's another topic for another day, I reckon. So I'm watching the cameras, and I see these two or three SUVs, Chevy, of course, all black, tinted windows, pull up. And I had my go bag. I had my AK. And I grabbed that and my boy, and we hit the uh, the John boat, cranked up the outboard, and I'm running down that bayou. Guys, I'm Cajun. You ain't going to catch me in a boat. I can jump log. I can do stuff with a John boat. I'm telling you. And this thing came after us and it operated an outboard too. And at one point I shot this thing, double tap, so two rounds, dead center chest with my AK. And it didn't stop, it kept coming. And I finally get to a point that was like a dead end and I'm just waiting. And it's like it, it couldn't see us. It was like me and my boy was invisible. It was looking directly at us and couldn't see us. So this is the, the second dream that where I saw that some of us are going to become invisible. Anyway, so guys, please take these dreams to the Lord in prayer. If you have confirmation, please put them down below. I do love you, bless you, and go in peace. Look, God didn't give us a spirit of fear, guys. Okay? Trust his plan. Trust his process. Amen. Shalom.